Welcome to Nicholas 11x12, and once again I'm looking at another CPU cooler, another air cooler. This time around a bit of a different one though, the Cryorg C7. That's a tiny cooler, hardly any bigger than the Intel stock cooler, but it should apparently do a much much better job at cooling than the stock cooler. Because it's so small, this could be the ideal choice for mini ITX PC builds. The current price point isn't even that high with just 30 US dollars. Thanks again to Cryorg for sending me this cooler and making this video possible. Possible. And I box the C7 itself with the fan pre attached already, the back plate and screws, a screwdriver, a tube of thermal paste, and last but not least, the user's manual. The Cryorg C7 definitely is a special CPU cooler. It's really small, tiny I'd say, and kinda reminds me of a stock cooler that comes with processors, just a lot beefier. I'd say that's a top-down cooler and really, that's the only way to keep a cooler small. This type of design may not appeal to everyone, but to me personally, if that matters of course, it looks really good. Cryorg in general doesn't seem to disappoint me in terms of aesthetics, but it's not always about looks. The dimensions of the C7 are 97 by 97 by 47 millimeters. So the cooler is only 47 millimeters high. That should definitely fit even into small ITX cases. The weight is at 357 grams with the fan attached. In general, that's lightweight, but for the size, that's heavy. Makes me so curious about the performance already. Now on top we have a special 92 millimeter fan, 600 to 2,500 RPM, 30 decibel max noise level, and a 40.5 CFM airflow. The cable is nylon sleeved and features a four pin connector. Now what's so special about this fan is Cryorg's so-called quad air inlet system, which apparently allows for extra air intake from the four corners of the fan's frame, which obviously means better cooling performance. To reduce vibration noise on all four corners, the fan is equipped with these rubber pads. I like the heatsink design a lot, and anyone can tell it's well built. We get a total of four 6mm thick heat pipes on this cooler, or inside of it I should say, and of course as always with Cryorg York, a nickel plated copper base. The C7 is compatible with the following sockets Intel LJ 1150, 1151, 1155, and 1156. Of course, no support for 2011. AMD's AM3 Plus AM3, AM2 Plus AM2, FM2 Plus FM2, and FM1. However, for an AMD socket, you'd have to readjust the mounting bar. No problem, of course. And I have to say, the C7 feels very robust. But now let's go ahead and mount this little cooler onto my test bench, featuring the Intel i7-4770K CPU overclocked. Thanks again to Cooler Master for providing me the test bench that makes swapping out CPU coolers a lot easier. The installation is that easy and doesn't take long at all. Obviously, as you can see, the C7 in no way does interfere with memory, whether it be low or high profile RAM, nor with any other components. Although it's a pretty close fit here on my MSI Z97X Power AC motherboard with its VRM heatsinks. Usually it shouldn't be the case with mini ITX boards, though. Now let's take a look at the benchmarks. So yeah, we all can agree, the Cryorg C7 does not perform that well, at least not when overclocking this generally hot running Intel i7-4770K CPU with even more voltage than needed to further increase temperatures. At stock or with light overclocks no problem, the C7 can handle that, but not my CPU cooler overclock. But of course the Cryorg C7 is not meant for overclocking. It's actually supposed to fit into very small cases, not to interfere with any other components and to be silent. And yes, indeed it is silent even on full load. Very universal cooler that supports both Intel and AMD sockets and fits in pretty much any case. So in my opinion this cooler definitely keeps what's promised, does its job well, looks good and doesn't even have a bad price performance ratio. Sure in terms of raw cooling performance not that good, but it's a different type of cooler and such usually tend to cost a bit more, even though they don't perform as well. With that said I can definitely recommend the Cryorg C7 CPU cooler. I'm giving it my silver award. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit my website to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.